young boy who was hit by a car is recovering from his injuries, but he's also worrying about something else. Right, he was wearing a J.J. Watt jersey at the time, and emergency workers had to cut through that jersey while treating him. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live from the Medical Center with the rest of this story. Kathy. Well, good morning. Just a few minutes ago, we talked to Noah's father. He had to run back into the hospital because he says the doctors are now taking him to him into surgery. But he said his son is doing well and would be so excited to meet his favorite football player. Noah has been here at Memorial Hermann Hospital since New Year's Eve. His father took this picture about an hour ago. Noah was covered in his favorite Texans blanket, giving a thumbs up and a big smile. State troopers say a driver hit two parked cars on Matagorda Beach. One of those cars hit Noah, his younger sister, and two other family members. Noah has injuries to his foot and both legs. Everyone is expected to be okay. That driver was charged with reckless driving. One of Noah's relatives tweeted at JJ Watts saying Noah was crying because paramedics cut his jersey on the way to the hospital. You see Noah wearing that same jersey in this picture with his younger sister. Well, just last night, JJ responded saying, quote, tell him I'll bring him a new New Jersey tomorrow. Noah's father says it would mean the world to his son. For his favorite football player to come out and show him support, and you know, I, I believe JJ Watt would make Noah feel stronger because of the the stuff that JJ Watt just went through with his back, and you know, I believe he can give good words of encouragement to Noah. Noah's father says he's been trying to keep it a secret, but obviously that can be a little difficult. No word right now on when exactly J.J. Watt will stop by to visit Noah, but we'll of course keep you updated. Reporting live in the Medical Center, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.